Hello, welcome to the Randy Steffi Show. Thank you for watching. Step number one today, continue on refurbishing the Kramer. Where am I at? It's, uh, need some final polishing. I still got some nicks. I can see, maybe you can see them as things shine and sputter in the light. Some fretwear nicks, some other nicks, but they're, they're smooth. I think I got the, the dreaded sprouts under control. They feel nice. If I go too crazy, I'm going to have to level it and recrown it. And that's kind of the, beyond my skill set. So I would have to take it to 30th street guitars. And I just, I, I don't think it's necessary. I think I'm just going to wipe off as much of the remnants of the work I've done so far as I can get off. I'm going to hit it with this 8,000 paper. And I'm going to hit it with a little bit of polishing compound. I'm going to call her a day for now. Put the neck back on the guitar. See where I'm at. See if I'm going to go for let's do this three times and level and crown and redo all this stuff I've just done. It's good practice for me anyways. Back and forth and 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 back and forth back and forth and back and forth not much coming up that's what I want to see not much not much back and forth back and forth back and forth Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Here we go, back and forth. I don't know, I just felt something there. It made me want to do it a little more. Back and forth, and forth and back we go. Yeah, not much, a little bit, a little bit of ugliness still coming up. Almost nothing really. Almost nothing. Do 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 do. Almost nothing. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. I think it's gonna rock. I think it's gonna rock. This way I can see that there's not much really coming off like that. Probably didn't need to do all this tape, I'm just being extra cautious. You know, this thing I made as a safe side. Yeah, it's sticking into that tape a little. Do do and back. 
back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Eventually I really like to do this kind of video live so people could heckle me, you know, and I have to respond to the heckling. My buddy my buddy Bionic Dave suggested that. Heckling. Pardon me? Heckling. Heckling. I think I should be heckled while I do this. I think that would be great. It would be more entertaining than back and forth and back and forth. What are you doing? I'm polishing the fretboard. Just polishing the fretboard. I think I'm almost done polishing the fretboard. Almost there. Still the Kramer, the Kramer Pacer, allegedly 1984 Kramer Pacer. Allegedly 1984 Kramer Pacer. <clears throat> I bought this a long time ago and it just doesn't go away. It's still nearly full after a lot of use. But we're just gonna polish by hand. No, I am not getting out a Dremolo rotary tool and buffing compound. I think this is just all too dried up even. Too dried up even. Wax on, wax off. Now we're wax on, wax offing. Like the Karate Kid. Polish on, polish off. Close that up in case I knock it off. See, that's what happens. That's what we're doing. We're cleaning that stuff off. Wax on, wax 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 off. if I can get sued by the Karate Kid movie. How's your polishing? Polishing away. Polishing away. I got How my clean you rag. <sighs> How long is this polishing going to take? I, well, I guess that's the point of all this. Uh, what do you call it? Words and all. What's an all video is here's how long it's going to take you. Here's how long it's taken me. If you go to the to the guy that's an expert at this who does it all day long in his repair shop, he can do all of this so much faster. And it, like the experience that they have, you know, like they can just go, oh, I need to do this, as opposed to me kind of feeling my way through it, you know. That's what your average guy's got to do. You got the guitar. No one told you you were going to have to maintain it. When they sold you that guitar, did they mention the fact that like you're going to have to maintain it? Nope. I don't think that comes up in the sales pitch. It just doesn't come up in the sales pitch, does it? Does not. These are starting to look awesome though. Shiny, shiny, shiny. We like shiny, shiny, shiny.
want to make sure I get all of that compound off of here. Here's where the clean, dry rag is your best friend. ugly coming up. Not really. No. Okay. Do do. Well, I got the polish out. I'm uh, gonna just hit this headstock. Just cause it's so d -d 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 dirty. take off some of this masking tape that would do that what I want to do. I could just about take the masking tape off, but I'm gonna reassess before I do that and finish assembling the instrument. This is still pretty filthy and disgusting. I don't think it's gonna hurt if I just give it a little bit of a hit with this polishing compound. like that. It's just dirt, I think. many hours. I don't have to add up the YouTube video time. I got it all documented. That was kind of the point. It's actually maybe some damage there. Do my best to clean that up. Try and make 
make sure I don't leave any bits of buffing compound on this thing. Polishing compound. Alright. We're refurbishing. We are not restoring. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll do a little bit more of that when we assemble the guitar. And I think now I gotta rebuild a Floyd Rose. Doot 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 doot.